Hello, it's me. I was wondering if you'd like to subscribe to my team map of one, two, three. So anyway, hello everybody. Let's put my headset on. Um, how do I put this on? There we go. So it's a bit small. My brother, my, my little brother was using it. So try and, oh, there we are. Okay, pull that out. That's, I've got a big head, I swear. Right, welcome back to some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Today we're going to be doing a really cool simulation and as I'm British, I have uh, decided that I want to claim the taxes back from you Americans, which you stole from us all those years ago. Yes, I'm talking about the American Revolution. You owe us tax, so I'm sending over the Redcoats. We're sending over 10,000 Redcoats to come and take out your modern US infantry. So tell me who's going to win. 10,000 Redcoats or the... Um, let's have a look what we got here. We have Lizard Men, Kings. We have Stormtroopers. We have... Um, I, I want some soldiers. Where are they? I'm going to be looking for ages now. Chinese soldiers. I mean, we can verse the Chinese in the future. We could go and steal their taxes as well. Yes, we've got Red Stick Men, Venom, B1 Battle Droid, Gondor. Oh, we can go up against the Lord of the Rings. Um, Lord Woody. I, I swear we've got some American soldiers in here somewhere. 2,000 years later. So we found them. Redcoats versus modern soldiers. 10,000 Redcoats against your... Um, what should we say? Let's go against 10,000 modern soldiers and we're going to be fighting on the slopes of Mount Doom for our first battle so tell me in the comments who do you think is going to win 10,000 American Revolution Redcoats or 10,000 modern soldiers um, I think everyone's going to be voting for the modern American soldier right here but let's test the battle where are they going they're charging around the bottom a good good technique we're going to take control of one of the uh, soldiers up there let's be this guy let's just go British men I don't know what I'm saying so if we run up here, hopefully we should be able to see where the enemy are. Oh, the battle is kicking off. I've got a strategy. You dudes, uh, I'm all alone. This is not good. So there they are. We can see them. So present and fire. Did I get him? Uh, okay, retreat. Oh, this is epic. We've got 20,000 men on the screen. I have no idea who's going to win this battle. Who do you think is going to win? Redcoats or modern soldiers? King George wants his taxes back. The American Revolution has kicked off. Let's uh, get out of that, dude. Let's go into uh, cinematic mode. How do we go into cinematic mode? I'm, I can't even remember how to do it. We press this. We press that. There we are. Let's get some cinematics. Let's go to the front line and see what's going down. These muskets are actually doing quite well against these. Uh, what we got? M's. Well, I think they're like M16s or something. Tell me in the comments. Are those M4s or M16s? They might, that might be the M4. These guys are like, hoorah! We got this. I'm just moving my camera up a bit. There we go. Now you can actually see me. I mean, my camera was actually slanted towards the ground. I don't know why. Who's going to win this epic battle? Tell me. Is it going to be the Redcoats of Britain? Or the America? Mr. Make sure that my hair's fit. Oh god, what is going on with my hair, bro? I need a haircut. So move my hair down a bit. There we are. So uh, we're losing a lot of men. Well, the Americans are losing a lot of men. Come on, Brits. I'm voting for the Brits, obviously, because I am a proud Britishman. Hundreds of them. Thousands of them. What's going on up there? Is the lava hitting us yet? The lava hit us. No. You see that? Look at this, look. Just what one shot from the lava. You can see it over here. And it took out all of our men. This guy is like, uh, watch your backs, men. This lava has a mind of its own. Could be coming down at any moment. It can come from any direction. I think this is like the the slopes of Mount Doom. I'll leave a link to the actual battle, the Lord of the Rings battle. We used we actually did a quite a cool battle on this map some time ago. I love this game. The scale of the battles are insane. They're piling the bodies up. Surprisingly enough, I thought we would have lost by now. Well, how many rounds to an M4? I think there's quite a lot of rounds to an M4. I think uh, 
what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to call upon the great British gods and use some of our god powers on this one. Let's uh, turn the cinematic mode off. What have we got? We've got a uh, nuke who we can use. We have the wind, and th 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 that's about it. So let's uh, let's go and blow some of these guys away. On a blow, blow away the reinforcements. I'm not going to let you Americans win. There we go. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm blowing this to my camera, guys. This is pretty epic, though. And then what we're going to do is we're going to blow these guys towards the enemy. Okay, let's give him a little nudge. Are these muskets actually going to win against these M4s? There we go. We have a lot of reinforcements on the way over here. What the hell? What is going on? That is a lot of men. I was not expecting there to be this many men. Well, obviously I was because I, I placed down 20,000 men. I don't know what I'm saying. Look, it's been a long time since I've uploaded, guys. No! The lava! Not again! I think this is going to be death by lava. You see, that's how you Americans actually actually won the American Revolution. It was all the lava. You had lava on your side. Why am I wearing my headset like this? There we go. That looks better. No, I don't look anywhere near as uh, special. Oh, I'm just going to sit back and uh, watch the battle. Uh, so. Hello, it's me. I don't know why I've got that song stuck in my head. I've got Adele. Definitely need to get a haircut. I'm working the uh, the feathered look at the moment. I look like a hobo. I can't catch a break. How many men we've got remaining? We have 4,000 redcoats remaining. And only 2,000 of the modern soldiers. These Americans have got their work cut out. Not gonna lie, did give the Redcoats a little helping hand with the wind. But not that much. I think I'm, I probably killed like uh, 50 of them. Are we actually taking them from the top as well? Could be looking at a win. Oh yes, there we go boys. The lava has turned in our favour. The gods favour us. Does it make like a mountain? Oh, it's gone like really hard over here. That's what she said. Never make that joke again, mate. You've got, <laughs> you've got an audience which is as young as 12. I think we've got a winner right here. I wonder what will happen if I uh, drop a nuke. Let's, uh, let's drop a nuke. Not here. Let's, uh, oh, we're going to drop it inside the volcano, see if we can make this volcano erupt. If we just press N, we're going to use our nuke power. So if we go right here, okay, just hover above the thing, and if we press N, there we go, the volcano has erupted. Did it kill anyone? Absolutely deadly squat. Never mind. This guy isn't even dead, he's just like, if I pretend I'm dead, maybe I'll survive this, uh, this war. But yes, a modern day American Revolution. This is if, what if, the British soldiers came through the portal back in, I don't know, 1765 or something. Is that, is that when the war was? Let's just, uh, let's just Google this. It's, uh, American Revolution. American Revolution. Okay, let's have a look at what time this war started. 1765. Oh, bloody hell, that was bloody good, wasn't it? Oh, that was a good good uh, guess. And it ended in 1783. The American patriots in the 13 colonies defeated the British and American Revolutionary War with the assistance of France, winning independence from the Great, Great Britain and establishing the United States of America. See, you Americans needed France. That's what you needed. You needed help. And then, and then they, you guys are just like, well, we won World War II, you know? You guys wanted to have won World War II if it wasn't for us. I don't know if that was true. Tell me in the comments. Would England have won World War II if it wasn't for the Americans getting involved? Let's start an argument. But keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean.
we have approximately 3,000 red coats and 2,963 modern soldiers? Could this battle fall in the favor of the modern soldiers? Well, it should do, obviously. This is this was obviously rigged for the Americans to win. They have better guns. But these muskets, I don't know. How many shots can they shoot per minute? Well, they can shoot quite a few, really. Can we speed this up? We need to speed this up. Cinematic mode. Time scale. There we go. I think I've just sped it up. Have I? Um, time scale. Yes. That's two. There we go. Oh, we can slow it down. Oh, this is cool. I didn't even know you could do this. Well, I think I did, but I forgot I could do this. That's a bit too slow, though. What is he doing? This is a, a good representation of how the British felt during the American Revolution. Same with him. <laughs> He's leading the way, look. Let's, uh, let's play as him. Oh, okay, we died. That should have been expected, really. I have to press this. <gasps> I know! I've just nuked us. Team 1 won. Soldiers are victorious. Okay, the modern soldiers won that. Okay, it's only because I nuked them. Let's try something different. What should we try next? So I thought, what better way would there be to settle a nation's difference than just to pick one representative, one soldier from each army to fight it off in America's capital city, Washington. So I thought, you know what, we're going to pick one red coat and we're going to put him against just one modern day soldier and we're going to see who the ultimate epic battle simulator dude would be. I don't know why I said it like that. And we're going to see who the best will be out of these two nations. Will it be America and their modern soldier? Or will it be Britain and its old day 1700s musketeer? So let's try this. So in the red corner, weighing about uh, 300 pounds because of all of his uh, extra armor, guns and uh, equipment that he's wearing, we have the modern day American, would you say that's a Marine? I would say that's a Marine. Or we'll just say the US Army. We have the US Army soldier and over in the blue corner when we get to him at any minute now. I think we're going to speed this process up. Okay, so in the blue corner, weighing around, I don't know, he looks about, uh, about 160, 180, yeah, I'd say about 150 pounds, maybe. I don't know how it works. I work in kilograms. I'm British. We have the British red coat from the 1700s, which is actually the 18th century. I always thought that the 1700s was the 17th century, but but anyway, it's the 18th century. That's something that I learned quite new recently because I'm stupid. And um, so we're going to see who's going to win this battle. We have one soldier from each nation. We have one hero, and we're going to watch them fight to the death in the city of what we call Washington. DC, Washington DC have not watered their plants in a good while though, so things have gone a little bit dry and a bit barren. But let's speed this up a little bit so they get to each other faster. Enable the speed. There we go, he's also instantly became Usain Bolt, become the fastest <laughs> Did you hear him? I don't know. If you... <laughs> I'm trying to hold that in. Um, he, he, just, he just made a... <laughs> he has a squeaky voice. He completely took me by surprise. <laughs> well, let's see who's gonna win this battle. Where, where's the other dude? Let's uh, let's make it so. Uh, let's turn. No, no, they're engaging. They're engaging. Okay, we're taking cover. Go, go, Brit British man. You can see that uh, this musket is not as effective as the uh, as the M4 that that dude holds. <laughs> we're gonna be here for a while. Charge at least. You got this. Oh, we've got a hit. We have a very inaccurate hit. But he shoots like a stormtrooper from Star Wars. He can't hit anything. Is he going to hit him? I mean, what's the animation, man? You're aiming at the wall. We got this. This guy just doesn't care. He's just spraying and praying. And uh, <laughs> thrusting into the air. As if it's like hitting every area around him. 
but not him. This Brit is like, <laughs> this dude can't shoot. But then again, he's been hit quite a few times. And we have a winner, so it's decided. Modern soldiers are better than muskets. I mean, we didn't really have to make this video to establish that, did we? I mean, all you got to do is uh, uh, look at look look at the gun, America. So yes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a meme video. I just um, wanted to uh, show you guys that I'm still alive and uh, still kicking. That I am still making videos, kind of. I've had a bit of time off recently, and that's because. I just, I've just not been feeling feeling it to make videos, and I've been very busy. It's really hard to sit there and have the time to record these kind of videos, so... I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, this little skit right here. We, we can see that the modern soldiers are victorious. Britain did not get their taxes yet again. And, uh, I suppose it's for the better. Long live America, I guess. Um, so, I'm, I'm up one, two, three. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.